Oh man, I don't even know how to start this video, but happy birthday to Rojo Ray, I guess, because it's 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 our, our one year anniversary, life anniversary. You know, you get the idea. It's such a blessing to be able to do this because you're going, you're creating videos for free, essentially, to and you're posting it online for a potential audience of about like two billion people, which is insane. It's it's a crazy blessing and really rewarding experience. And um, I just, I, I think that if if I were to describe this, this year of creating content in one word, it would be just rewarding. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it. How do I say this? How to, how to articulate the, the joy of creating as a guy who's like really antisocial and YouTube kind of hits that middle ground of like, you, you are technically being social, like you're communicating to an, to an audience, whether I'm live streaming or in shorts or in videos. But it, it there's a balance of you 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 have you can dictate how much you interact with your audience. And I love my audience because a lot of them are really vocal. They're really friendly. I mean, there's of course some people that hate, but that's just comes with the territory of YouTube, you know. But I I think what really has been such a thorn in my side has been like thinking that people don't like me, thinking that people don't think I'm funny, thinking that people hate me secretly. But that in real life, I mean, not in regards to YouTube. But I think YouTube has shown me that a lot of that is just my own head. And while I think that that's beneficial in some way to be a perfectionist in comedy, to be a perfectionist in editing, to be a perfectionist and whenever I'm recording, I think that it's really, it's a sobering thought to realize that people do enjoy your content, irregardless of what you believe or who you are, how you think, whatever. So I, I, even though there's a lot, I'm starting to grow a lot of parasocial relationships, it is kind of nice to know that there's a capacity that people like me, which is Maybe that's healthy, maybe that's not, but that's um, a topic for another day, I guess. And I think that I, I want to encourage those creators who are just starting out and are like really discouraged or annoyed with the lack of growth, quote unquote. Um, I, I, I would like to fight this notion that YouTube doesn't like their creators. Now, I would disagree, first of all. Even though YouTube's far from a perfect platform, I think it's the it's it is the best platform irrefutably. Um, the only competitor is Twitch, and Twitch doesn't like their creators from what I've seen. And I, that I won't touch that. That's a different topic. But I think that YouTube really, the ability for YouTube, and even now they're pushing more of these lesser known creators to find get more discoverability and you'll see these channels pop off with no subscribers and then you'll see them with 100 200 300,000 in a few days and you're like man YouTube really does care about their creators but like the key is making like good videos like obviously Mr Beast all these big creators they all say things that I'm going to say but it's like if you make good content people will watch it and I think that that's something I want to kind of focus more on because I've been focusing a lot on quantity over quality, if I'm being honest. I, I just wanted to get reps in, I wanted to get slowly better, and I was willing to sacrifice the speed at which I gained subscribers, gained notor um, fame, I guess, quote unquote. I, I was willing to sacrifice that to learn over time. Because I, I, that's how I learn. I learn by beating my head through a wall and eventually learning that, ow, that hurts. And I think that that's like a huge component of YouTube that especially gaming creators kind of overlook. Because a lot of gaming creators are like, oh, I could just be funny and then post a video and then everybody's like, this is the dumbest video I've ever seen because secretly you're not that funny. Or you suck at editing or both, God forbid. And I say that not to like critique other creators. I, or like not critique I am critiquing to not bash other creators but I say that to encourage creators that are subscribers almost don't matter in my mind it's more just understand what is funny 
what is good editing and like learn to mimic that humor and that editing in your own way and then make it your own. If that makes sense, because there's a lot of videos I've done where it's like, of course, millions of other people have done videos on it. Like I, I have a if we even we could even go through the list of videos that I have. But like, of course, people play a bunch of games that I have, like Destiny 2, JJK, Fighters. This, these aren't new things. But if you can sort of approach it in a different way and be funny in your own way and edit it in your own way and make it your own, then I think you really have, even if you don't have a great subscriber count or a lot of views, that almost doesn't matter. I think if you can really hone who you are as a creator, then you really set yourself apart from half of the creators on, on YouTube that haven't gotten to where you're at. So in conclusion, I just wanted to like say that I'm very thankful. I really enjoy YouTube. I'm not going to be letting up. I'm going to like full pedal to the metal. I. There's been no greater joy I have in life than making people laugh. Even though it's not a job yet, I can foresee a future where this is a job and it's my favorite job that I'll ever have. And this is all a, a credit to, to you all who watch that, that um, these are things I can't do without you and those of you who watch and like and subscribe and comment. Like I'll see all your comments and it's such a joy to interact with you on a level that I can't like I can't know you all personally obviously but it's nice to have like a little tidbit of information like it's just a small section of your heart can be opened on on YouTube and it's such a beautiful thing I do want to say I love YouTube I love y'all and it's it's a lot of fun and there's a lot more fun to come especially since sparking zeros coming out come on let's go all right sorry I'm <laughs> I'm getting a little gassed, but, um, yeah. Love y'all, God bless.